Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to come to you with a quick review. Um, you know, we did the trip to Alaska and we used a tow dolly to pull the car behind the RV. So in doing that, on the way up there, uh, we had the original tires on it. <clears throat> they held up pretty good, but they were starting to get a little thin on the tread. So for our trip back home, I decided that we would put new tires on it. So Beth and I talked about it and we went ahead and ordered two tires. It took about two weeks to get them up to Alaska, but we got those. And what we actually ended up purchasing were these right here. These are the Nanco tires. They sell these on Amazon. Um, you know, Nanco's got decent ratings. They're supposed to be a load range E tire. And you know, they've got great tread on them as you can see right here. Uh, but probably if you're looking through the tire, you can already see part of the problem. This was the first tire. This tire lasted just shy of 500 miles. Uh, within 500 miles, the sidewall was destroyed. Um, and, you know, some people would say, oh, it was under inflation or something to that extent. Well, the unfortunate part of that is I had just went through and checked all the tire pressure that morning, which is a routine that we do every day before we get on the road. I checked all my tire pressures, made sure they were adjusted to the appropriate specifications on the RV, on the tow dolly, and on the car tires that were on the ground. Um, and then we probably went maybe 25 miles, give or take. Um, that was the unfortunate aspect of it, and we said, okay, well, we just have a defective tire. And that was fine. So we kept going. Uh, we stopped off, and we actually purchased another tire from a company because we didn't have the ability to order anything. And that tire is actually a Carlisle. And I'll link to those tires down in the description where you can buy them cheaper from Amazon. But that tire lasted from all the way up in British Columbia, Canada, all the way back to South Carolina and really doesn't show hardly anywhere. So I'm going to recommend the Carlisle over the Nanco. And the nail in the coffin, so to speak, was the second Nanco tire. This is all that's left just the bead. Um, I actually saw this tire in the rear view mirror slinging chunks off of it and just disintegrate going down the highway. Uh, thankfully, you know, we did the prep in the tow dolly. You saw where we put the tires on. Uh, I was able to change these tires back to one of the old Lodestar tires that we had originally because we kept those as spares just in case. And that actually got us the rest of the way home. Um, in theory, we probably could have made it all the way back home on the two Lodestar tires that we had on there originally that the treads were low on. Uh, but moral of the story being, Nanco tires are not that great of a tire. Uh, they're rated for load range E, but they just don't hold up. The tread wear on them was relatively excessive, especially on this tire here before it finally gave up. Uh, we noticed that the tread was wearing extremely fast on it in comparison to the Carlisle that's on the other side. Uh, so we'll be replacing that Lodestar tire that's about worn out with a Carlisle. And like I said, I'll link that down in the description. I'll put a link up here for you for the video where we prep the tow dolly and put the tires on. Um, guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I want to bring you more reviews, more how-tos. Best got some great cooking recipes that we're going to be bringing to you. So definitely hit that subscribe button. Tick the bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. And stay tuned with us. We're going to be coming to you with more.